Hey everybody, welcome back. We are to the last project on our van. So today we're going to be going over how to install the HEO Solution locks on your van. They make them for the Transits, the Promasters, and the Sprinters, and I'm sure some other vans too. Let's get started. All right, so we got our locks from two separate sources. Um, the side door lock and the back door lock are exactly the same, which is this model here. And we ordered these off of Amazon. They come with their own set of keys. So that's kind of the downside to these locks is depending on how many locks you put on your van, you're going to be carrying multiple sets of keys to lock and unlock it all the time. The second set of locks we got, which are for the front doors, we got from Expedition Outfitters. Um, these are supposed to be keyed the same, so hopefully with these two we will only have to carry one key. Um, and we got them from there because they weren't on Amazon and Expedition Outfitters didn't have the side and back door. So here we are. So each lock, again, comes with a set of keys. It comes with a rubber gasket to put in between the lock and the metal of the van. And then they come with uh, the screws that pretty much just screw into the panel of the van. Now, uh, Expedition Outfitters was kind enough to send us a 3.2 millimeter drill bit uh, to do all of these on, so that's really great. If you don't get it from Expedition Outfitters, you get it from somewhere else or Amazon, it doesn't come with one, that's what you need is the 3.2 millimeter drill bit. Okay, so we're going to do the back door first because it seems to be the easiest one. This is the position that you want the lock to be in when it's engaged. Because if a thief were to come up and try to break into your vehicle, obviously if it's like this, then they can just undo the screws and get in. So you have to make sure that you set it up correctly for that. We're going to position ours on the driver's side door because our handle is on the passenger side and this is what we're trying to keep from opening and we're going to put it a little bit below the handle here. I'm going to take an extra step and just do a little tap into the sheet metal so it's easier to get the drill bit. Now we drill. I have the pilot holes drilled. Now I'm going to just place the gasket behind here. There's no sticky panel or anything on it, so you have to make sure that it lines up pretty well and just kind of hold it on there while you're getting it installed, I guess. Um, now, HEO Solution is very adamant in their instructions that you don't use a drill or any kind of power tool to install these, that you screw them in by hand. So that's what we're going to do. got it all screwed in. We had some problems with one of the lower screws. Um, it was drilled through all the way but for whatever reason it wouldn't go in. I tried a screw from one of the other kits. It went right in no problem. So your mileage may vary on that. Just keep in mind you might have to change things out. But let's close her up and see how it works. <laughs> to the sliding door. Okay, so the next one is the sliding door, which is exactly the same as the back door. You might be wondering how the heck is this thing supposed to go on, because I originally thought it was going on the front of the door where the actual handle is, and it's not. It's supposed to go on the back here, so when you pop open the sliding door it keeps it from sliding backwards. Now with this one, what the instructions say is they want you to mount it above the sliding door rail 
Um, I think it says at least 10 centimeters above. 10 centimeters above the... However, if you're like us and you have a window here, you don't want to put it there because the window is probably going to break when somebody tries to open the door. So we're going to have to put it below the rail. I guess you could also put it way at the top if you want to, but even me being 5 feet and 11 inches tall, that is way too high up for us to try to unlock it. So we're going to decide here where we're going to put it and then drill it in and get it installed. If you like us and you have a window and you have to put it below the rail, the first thing you have to decide on where you're going to place it involves the paneling on the inside of your sliding door. If you have replaced the stock paneling on the inside of your sliding door with a thicker piece of wood or something like a lot of people do, you have to make sure that when you open the door to slide it that it's going to clear this. A lot of people use some really thick wood on there and what happens is you'll get the door about halfway open and then it's going to rub on that panel and you're not going to be able to open the door the rest of the way. Good for security, not good for trying to actually live in the van. We have just a regular panel on here that we put back on. If you saw our debacle with the sliding door panel, you'll know why. Um, so I'm thinking we're not going to have any issues, but double check just to make sure. Okay, so we're going to put it right here, right below the sliding rail. Um, we have a little bit more clearance on the top when it comes to that panel. We have some flex kind of in the middle and we're not sure how well it'll work. So looks like it's going to clear really well right here. So basically the install is exactly the same as the back door. Okay, so we had a little bit of a technical difficulty with one of the screws, but we got it figured out. It's all installed. Let's test it out. All right, well, we got the two outside ones installed. The two locks for the front doors actually go on the inside, so we'll do that next. Okay, the last part of our install is going to be the interior front door locks. And there are two identical locks. They are keyed on the same key, so that's convenient. And basically, what you want to do is you want to mount them to the pillar right about here. We decide to do ours flush with the top of the panel so that it's just easy for us to know where it goes. But you want to be able to measure and make sure that it's going to clear the door when it comes in. All of that kind of stuff, but I found pretty much because it has this rubber piece on it that attaches around the window. If you just put that right against the pillar and then line the bottom up with the top of your panel right there, you should be fine on clearance. Okay, step one, marking the holes where you're going to drill it. So we don't have a pin that reaches into these holes really far, uh, so we are using a small screwdriver covered with a uh, sharpie and you can barely see them but it's enough on there that we know where to drill. Next we're drilling. Alright next step we're gonna screw it in. Alright, so the next part is going to be installing this little door plate where the latch goes. On some of the older models, they didn't come with these, and I've noticed that some people have installed it without these. But since it came with it, we're going to go ahead and put it in for extra security. Now, it's shaped kind of weird, so this part has to get tucked in between, basically behind the rubber seal, and in between the plastic of the B-pillar and the metal part of the B-pillar. So it's a little hard to wedge it in there, but that's where it has to go. Okay, so 
you can see that the rubber gasket kind of covers part of it. Um, what we need to do is we need to determine exactly where it's going to go and then we'll slide it into position with the lock. And then what we've done is just cut out the part where the lock is actually going to go in. Uh, so we're not taking any more of this trim piece out than we need to. That's it for the front door lock install. Now just repeat the same thing on the other side. Alright, well that's it for installing our locks. Um, some helpful hints if you're going to go with this system of lock. Uh, the front door locks are pretty thick where you need to mark them so you need like a really thin long pen or some other way that you can mark where you're going to be drilling the holes. A regular pen or a sharpie will not get in there. Rubber gasket here on the door. Um, we just ended up cutting it away which it does say you can do in the instructions although the pictures in the instructions have it neatly tucked back in between the B pillar and the body of the van. We couldn't get that to work while getting the um, locking plate installed, so that's why we opted to just cut it away. On the side door, um, so we kind of got it to work on our door. It really didn't have anything to do with the panel in the location that we decided to put it in. It had more to do with the actual metal part inside of the door of the van. So we actually ended up just tapping that in a little bit to try to get it to clear. It clears about three quarters of the way when you open the door, but the slider of the door must adjust somehow to where it actually comes back in a little bit and it starts rubbing on the lock. So if you're not interested in doing any kind of metal work or body work on your van on the inside like we did, um, or you have a new van and you don't want to do that, then I would suggest one of the two lower locations that we were initially talking about on the van. We didn't want to put it that low just for various reasons, so this works for us. It may not work for you. So just keep in mind there are many different kinds of locks out there for your van. You can do anything from very simple stuff that you pick up at the hardware store that, you know, just screws in and kind of latches over and you put a lock on to uh, more extreme versions like we have. We wanted the safety of having the dogs and the valuables in the van if we happen to go out into a city somewhere and have that peace of mind. So this is what we chose. But keep in mind, there's all sorts of things for all sorts of budgets. You don't have to go with this system. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we will be happy to get back to you. In the meantime, if you're interested in van life, van conversions, or traveling, hit the notification bell. Consider subscribing to our channel. Also, you can see us in between videos on Instagram. And until next time, bye. You know we'll be together with all of my friends are coming